Hey guys, Ash here from C4A Tech along with my co-host Sundar and welcome to another super sweary episode of Ash Answers. Ash Answers is a show where we answer the questions that you ask on Twitter using the hashtag Ash Answers. And so, a super sweaty episode of Ash Answers means... We do it with the AC yeah. not working. So yeah, last week, you know, I was, tell- I was telling you guys about how the AC didn't work and we got the technicians to come over. They checked it. It worked great. And it's worked great every day till today. Yeah. And now it's not working again. So anyway, anyway, and as promised, here's the return. I thought you forgot it. Of this injector tool. Okay, let's see. So anyway, guys, let's get to the questions. No okay, questions. Okay, before we start, a big thank you to everybody who suggested names last week. Ash with life. Hashtag live, live with, with Ash. Ash. <laughs> Ooh, what the hell's wrong with me? Hashtag live with Ash was what we settled on. And we had a reasonable turnout this time. Uh, so yeah. If you guys would like to see me do it again this Wednesday, uh, another live stream for any questions that has been missed on Ash Answers, uh, let me know in the comments below. 8 p.m. Wednesday is when I do it if you guys want me to. So yeah, live stream. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's get to the questions now. Nokia 6 or Honor 6X, which is worth for use? What do you think? Honor 6X for me. I mean, I haven't used the Nokia 6, but I'm pretty sure the Honor 6X uh, will offer better performance and better. it's definitely got the better camera and mm. battery life how about battery life you got battery life would again be on a 6x to an extent yeah more or less but uh the build quality is superior yeah, definitely the, the nokia the display might be a little better too yeah. uh marginally not too much uh and again it, the, it is enough gorilla glass right mm, i don't the think 6X, so i don't, I think, don't so. think so either so uh, if i'm wrong correct me guys yeah. uh again Mm, so, yeah, Nokia 6, the chip is not powerful enough, definitely not, but it's got stock Android, so I would go with the Honor 6X, like Sundar said, but then again, uh, if you really want a Nokia, if you want that build quality, the Corolla Glass protection, Android. stock Android, then maybe you could look at the Nokia 6, but then again, if it's performance camera or even battery, it's the Honor 6X. And the difference is, like, phenomenally huge like with cameras yeah the honor 6x has a flat out even with price i guess yep it's much cheaper something a substantially better camera performance as well my question to you both which mobile do you guys use personally and why and yes i vote hashtag c40 sundar for what exactly i don't know either maybe for today's video the question is from august 22nd okay so maybe you can see the future so anyway uh i don't have a per, a, a daily driver per se uh i don't have a personal phone it is just what i test see guys for me personally i believe that unless and until i use a phone as my primary i can't really talk about it or i can't really tell you if you should buy it as your primary right i feel it'll be very uh hypocritical of me if i'm using a phone as a secondary device and then labeling it a review so for me it's just every phone that you see as review that's phone those are phones that we personally used as our primary as in if we have one or two sim cards they're all in the phone as long as they support dual sim hell i even used a phone for six months to get you a realistic review That card's not. That's gonna become part of the Doogie Mix thingy like last week. So, anywho, that's that. Right now, I'm using uh, the K8 Note and the OnePlus 5. So, I was using the K8 Note and then they took it for a speed test. So, I'm currently on the OnePlus 5. We'll get back to the K8 Note. I'm supposed to be using video. the Galaxy J7 NXT, but still on Moto E4 Plus. Chances of OnePlus 3D and G5 Plus getting Android Oreo update. And also, where's your trusty SIM ejector tool? Right here, right here. So, chances are extremely high. Uh, yeah, for going the, by track record, the G4 Plus got uh, the Nougat update as soon as it came out. Exactly. And same goes with the OnePlus 3D. I mean... The OnePlus it was, 3D, it's confirmed. Yeah. It's getting, uh, getting Oreo, but then... It's a good news, bad news situation. It is getting Oreo, but Oreo is going to be the last major update yeah. for the OnePlus 3T. Kind of sucks, but then again, you know, it's gotten two major updates. Yeah, um, I can understand where OnePlus is coming from. I'm not a fan. I would prefer to see it being updated a little longer because 821 is an excellent chip. It's still kind of a flagship chip. And is the mic to the center? The mic is definitely not to the center. The mic's pointed more towards you. Is it? Is it? Yeah, that's the question you ask. Is it? I don't think so. 
Okay, fine. I'll go check it. No, thank you. <laughs> Leave it. So anyway, guys, coming back. Um, G5 Plus. Yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure... I mean, what is it saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, I would prefer to see it get another update, probably. Because you see all of last year's flagships, you know, something like the LG G6 still comes with... Uh, it's on Snapdragon 821, 21. so it's not like Qualcomm's G5, gonna pull support anytime. G6, yeah. Anytime. The G6, yeah. Uh, Qualcomm's gonna pull, pull support on it, so I would prefer to see it. But then again, one good thing with OnePlus phones is that you can always, like, you have a bucket load of custom yeah, ROMs for exactly. them. Exactly. The OnePlus One is still getting a lot of uh, Android 7 ROMs. Yeah, he's got... He's, I'm really sorry, I'm going <laughs> to do that again. Uh, so he's got a OnePlus One that's, to, that's on Nougat, as in yeah. unofficially, of course, but custom ROMs quite stable, right? Yeah. What is the use of security patch updates? It's every time uh, says bug fixes and performance improvements. So yeah, guys, see, from time to time, no software is invulnerable. So every software has some issues that, I mean, issues or rather vulnerabilities that get exploited. And once Google gets to know about any particular vulnerability or if there's a exploit somewhere, they patch it and they push it out in the form of security updates. And to keep your phone secure, you know, it's kind of, you know, obvious and security updates to keep it secure. Uh, to keep your phone secure, you'd of course need the security updates. And that is why sometimes it pisses us off when brands don't update phones, as in... Sub the G5 phone. Plus is still on March security update. Yeah, it's totally unrelated to this conversation. Uh, we aren't yeah. pointing fingers at Moto or Lenovo, I'm just saying. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> My friend needs a good Moto phone. Should he buy the Moto E4 Plus or G4 Plus or C4s? Fingerprint scanner is not a priority. They all belong to like different entirely different segments, segments, right? Yeah, because the E4 Plus is sub 10, the G4 Plus is somewhere around 10. The Z4 is, is much higher. Yeah, Z4s. Z4s, of course. If he's okay with the budget. Yeah, but even if he's not okay with the budget, no E4 Plus. G4 Plus. I mean, no G4 either. Plus. E4 Plus is also meh. I would rather, I mean, in that segment, I mean, if you can go up to a G5 Plus, yeah. that's fine. I mean, you'll plus, still yeah. be stuck with a March security update, that's fine. Uh, but if you're fine with that, it's it's a good phone. Or I would rather say wait for the Mi 5X. No Moto M. No Moto M. What do you think about Nokia 8 camera? Is it better than the OnePlus 5, iPhone 7 Plus and other flagship phones? Let's on the answer this. It may not be as good as the iPhone 7 Pluses. I mean, that's what he expected me to say, but no, I'm not saying that. Of course, we don't have the cam uh, we don't have the phone in our hands yet. We might try to source one, won't we? Maybe, maybe oh. in the near future. So once we get our hands on it, we'll, we'll try to post a camera comparison. If you guys would like to watch it. So talking about things in our hands, magic tool. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, I mean, Nokia 8, the camera seems very, very, very promising, promising. on paper. Uh, because of the Zeiss lens, Zeiss optics and all that. Let's see, let's see what Nokia does with it or rather HMD yeah. Global does with it. As of now, nobody can answer this, buddy, because no one's actually uh, done the comparison. Yeah, I saw a few comparisons know. before Ash Hansers and yeah. the photos were comparable, definitely, but I couldn't say a lot from the photos. I mean, they weren't, I mean, obviously, I couldn't say much from it. I didn't click them and so yeah. Best phone under 30k, priority overall performance. If you're strictly gonna say under 30k, there's just one option, Honor 8 Pro. Pro. But if you're gonna say around 30k, then it's gonna be a toss up between the Honor 8 Pro and the OnePlus 5. And, and if you wanna know video. which one's better, yep, they have they have their own sets of pros and cons, guys. So depending on whatever it is that matters more to you, you could go with it. Is it true uh, the Note 8 fits in one hand? Earlier, the Note displays were not Sundar slash taller, but this time it is. <laughs> Thoughts? Hey, I mean, it's on the display. People are picking, on, picking up on that. I like it. Anyway, uh, back to the question. Any phone will fit in your hand the way the Note 8 fits in this guy's any hand. Any Note the, will fit in this guy's hand. I mean, any. I mean, the way this guy is holding the Note 8, mm -hmm. anybody can fold any, phone, hold any yeah. phone in that way. So. No, see, this is some of Samsung's famous marketing, right? So, uh, is the Note 8 more one-hand friendly than the last Note they are selling? Yes. Why? The last Note they are selling is the Note 5. It is narrower than the Note 5. But what it is not is narrower than the Note 7. They still are selling the Note Fan Edition, right? So the Note 7 still exists in some form. If you compare to the Note 7, then it is a little wider than the Note 7. But compared to the Note 5, despite the larger display, it is narrower 
but neither the note 5 nor the note 7 are definitely are single hand usage friendly phones i love the note but then it's nowhere close to single hand usage friendly bring back bring back the alpha guys bring back the alpha i want the alpha back why do major phone companies give basic components for comparatively more price than chinese competitors kaching <laughs> money yeah making more money i mean And the question here money. is why do people still buy basic components from major companies when the price is much higher than the chinese ones you know uh people buy it people want the brand name on it people like branding people who are willing to pay for the branding so there you go brand sell them at a premium your thoughts on the exploding redmi note 4 rumors everywhere <laughs> i've been reading a bucket load of this but then i'm just seeing the same pictures over and over again yeah. it's right. just one incident i guess and that one in- incident can happen because of anything right it yeah. could be uh, a bad charger it could be a defective phone as well i mean thing any reason even an what? iphone exploded even yeah. uh, htc exploded no you just take any phone that you want and just google saying that phone plus blast or explore or burn or whatever and i'm pretty sure you'd get a bunch of results with images and all that i mean it's just uh it's getting blown up by probably competition i guess with note 8 priced so high do you think it justifies its price considering samsung phones becoming slow over time See, every phone gets a touch slow yeah. over time that's the reason why if you haven't factory wiped a phone we've always factory wiped a phone for speed test but then if we don't factory wipe a phone for a speed test then people go that's why it's slow okay so there you go that's how that's how it is but over here the pricing i mean i really i mean a couple of weeks back we had this conversation where i was like it should come in under 60 at least or at least in the early 60s now we and he was like above 65 <laughs> okay and for once sundar was right right for once, once the first time so anyway i really don't think it should have been priced this high given it's what around price 950 it's not like it's just expensive in india it's expensive mm-hmm. everywhere it's around 950 for the unlocked version exactly and it, it's 850 or what uh, the s8 is it plus. plus it launched at 850 but it's uh, now right now it's at around 700 dollars yeah so you're paying it's around 250 $250, $250. which is around 15000 bucks extra for what for the extra camera the stylus the extra stylus. camera Point and a smaller battery larger display and, and a smaller, smaller battery. battery yeah so i don't know guys generally when a note comes out i'm extremely excited for it and i was till i saw the launch event and after the launch event i was kind of man and there are a few reasons for it i mean one is everything got leaked so there's nothing surprising and generally the note is about the stylus and this time it was about everything but the stylus yes they showed people sketching on it but then you show samsung showed people sketching with the stylus since the note one right so or at least the note no the note one yeah even the note one had those sketches and stuff so that is not really impressive i mean what's impressive generally is more note stylus features, features. and now they only have that real time translation that's eh, it's okay i might use it but then again it's not something everybody is yeah. going to use every day good with google translate exactly so i don't really know i've got mixed feelings about the note 8 and especially about the battery life i mean uh, pers- me personally because how was the s8 plus's battery life s8 plus's battery life was good one day one day uh, so that break in the video was brought to you by our friend the amazing harris the one who really really loves barry allen <laughs> because he's the fastest man alive and if you've not seen that video there's a link in the description <laughs> below do check it out and harris that's what you get for leaving a phone on anyway moving on before we kind of melt waited uh, yeah no date no date no press too high so yeah the battery life yeah battery life i'm kind of mad about it if you want me to do a video uh, a dedicated video on why i'm not really excited for the note at this time where i go more into my thoughts because we have time constraints over here let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see it i'll go ahead do it so again you get to decide which one should i choose nokia 6 or lenovo k8 note please consider my question So again, I know K6 question. Whatever we have, we said in the for for the first question holds good over here. But then again, with the K8 note, the camera might not be all that different. It's not K8 note doesn't have a great camera. You're not yeah, that impressed with the camera. Uh, I haven't really gone in in depth into it, but from the from how much ever I've tested it so far, it's not no way close to the Honor 6X or anything. It's okay. Uh, it would be kind of in and around the Nokia 6 territory. 
Um, and as far as performance goes, it would outperform the Nokia 6. Uh, game optimization is definitely a, a, what do you say, a sore point for MediaTek chips, especially the X23, but then from C as far as CPU performance goes, uh, the K8 Note does better. And again, the K8 Note also has uh, stock Android, just like the Nokia yeah. 6. But then again, Nokia 6 has better build quality. Yes, but then that's it. And the name, Nokia. Nokia, yes. Will you be reviewing? Will you be hey, if it wasn't clear, I go K8 Note over here. Yeah. Will you be reviewing Mizu Pro 7 with the uh, one with dual displays? Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is something I was hoping we'd have an unboxing out before this episode, but unfortunately, uh, the phones just cleared customs. So next week, you definitely by Wednesday, Thursday, you should be seeing the Mi 5X unboxing followed by the Pro 7. If you're excited for that, do give this video a thumbs up. And again, guys, if your question, so let's, you know, it's been quite a while. So uh, if your question has not been picked yet and it doesn't get picked in this episode, no worries. You can still catch me live on Wednesday at 8 p.m. If you guys want me to do it, I can do it. Um, it's still not set in stone, depending on your response in the comments is when I decide if I'm going to do it again or not. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me live on Wednesday 8 p.m. Now let's get to the next question. Are you buying the Note 8 as your personal phone? Like I said, I don't have personal phones, but then I am going to be buying the Note 8. I'm still going to keep it over here because when the OnePlus 6 comes out or uh, the Mi 7 comes out or something or the other comes out, we would love to do a camera, camera comparison, comparison or a speed, speed test with it. So we would definitely have a note in the office. It's like, that should always be a Stark at Winterfell. That should always be a note at C4E Tech. An iPhone 2. Played the new Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Guys, last year Uncharted 4 came out and I started playing, like uh, just before Uncharted 4 came out, I bought the trilogy, the uh, remastered trilogy. I had played one and two on the PS3 and I was like 20% into three, but then I bought the remastered one and I played all played through all three. But then I, I finished the third one, it was like three months after Uncharted came, uh, three, three to five months or four months maybe after Uncharted 4 came out and I started playing Uncharted 4. And I just finished it like a week and a half back, or rather two weeks back, some, some just right now. So, you know, I'm very slow with games. It's like I, I play like 15 minutes on a day. Not every day, like one or, one or two days a week, I play like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But then right now, uh, I am playing one game that I really, really like, Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. That is amazing. I really love that game and I've sunk in like 10 hours into it already. For me to sink in 10 hours within two weeks, that's like a huge thing i don't do that for every game even those that i play like uncharted i take like months now my interest is kind of petered out i'd still go back to playing like 15 20 minutes uh every few days but then i'm gonna wait till i finish that before i get lost legacy have you ever got frustrated and thought of just leaving youtube because as a creator i know that youtube can be frustrating at times so this is an excellent question it happens everybody has bad days everybody has good days so there are days where it's like uh, why am i even doing this yes those days do happen but then again you know uh, it's in really going through something like a comment section of ash answers that serves i mean that reminds me why i started doing it why i love doing this and it, it's it, it's kind of awesome. So that's why if you look at it, you know, uh, I reply to way more comments on Ash Answers than anything else. So these days it's like any kind of frustration, it all ends on Sunday because once Ash Answers comes out and there's like so many awesome people with so many comments and it's, it's, it's great, right? So uh, yes, there are a lot of negative thoughts from time to time, especially for me since I'm like kind of messed up in the head uh, and uh, but then again, it's you guys, your comments, your support, and uh, you know, there's two places. One is, of course, Ash Answers comment section, and the other one is on Twitter. Okay. We've got yeah. like some amazing people following us. So, uh, going through those comments and going through how much see, and seeing and seeing how much people care, it helps. And it's it's us. It doesn't have to be a huge. Uh, kind of yeah, comment or something. It's just something like, hey Ash, how are you doing? Yeah. And that's like totally irrelevant to the video. And I know those people, that, right? Because I, I'm used to, I remember faces. I might not know your name, but I, I would recognize your display picture and your handle. And then I know that person, I mean, that's somebody who's been like constantly uh, commenting and to see somebody like that, hey, there's somebody somewhere who's like asking me how my day was. And that's like, that, that's a cool feeling. And I'm really grateful to each and every one of you who's ever 
comment it. And if you're somebody who's just been watching and you like C4E Tech, but you've never left a comment, today's the time. Go on, leave a comment. And I would do my best to get back to you. Please show us behind the scenes of Ash Hand, just like how is the setup? Really curious. Okay. So just for you, we don't roll B rolls on Ash Hands. Yeah. That's like a, <laughs> a unwritten rule no. or something. But then just for you, Akash, I'm gonna change it right now. So I'm just gonna do like a quick this uh, with the OnePlus 5, just to give you an idea. So I'm pretty sure this at this point I would have cut to. Uh, this footage, so this is how the Ashanta setup is. So one more time, that's the, okay. So that's the mic, uh, exposure issues, okay, that's the mic. Two lights and the camera, okay. That's the camera and that is how I see when Sundar is crossing the line so that I can <laughs> hit him with this image actor tool. So yeah, there you go. That is behind the scenes, Zash answers. I leave my Wi-Fi router on all throughout the day. Will it make any difference to its overall life and performance? Nope, Wi-Fi routers are have... meant to be left on yeah. all through the day. So that's absolutely not gonna have any impact on the life and performance. So my current router, it's been on continuously for I guess three years. And then of course, power sh shutdowns is when it yeah, takes Even then we have uh, inverters, right? I mean U UPS, right? UPS, yeah. but then UPS runs out in like three hours or something. Uh, I, I turn everything else off, just let the router run on the UPS. So, uh, it works, there's, there's no issues, so yeah. Which would be your favorite episode in GOT? Question for you both. Okay, what's yours? Yours in this season, it would be the fourth one. Mm -hmm. For me, a favorite episode would be uh, would definitely be the one with uh, Liana Mormont. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, that's the that's like the only uh, GOT scenes that I've gone back and looked up on YouTube and watched like five times back to back. I mean, that's like that actress is uh, that's her first gig, first major role, right? First role, I guess, not even first major role. And. She's like excellent, man. Yeah. Like the delivery, it's like, it's amazing. I mean, if you haven't watched it yet, do check it out. And probably, if you, I mean, you can search for it because I'm pretty sure the link is not legal. So, just search for uh, Liana Mormont uh, on uh, YouTube, and you should find it. It's an Liana Mormont epic scene. Epic scene, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apartment hunt update. Uh, so yeah, we are almost just a week away from knowing if uh, the bank is approving our loan. So we had the final, the guys from the credit team come here today morning and uh, the loan page says everything is done, just waiting for approval. So yeah, we know more next week. Yeah, that's what we always say, but yeah. Really, no, I've really been really giving get... people realistic yeah, no, estimates, no, 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 right? No, no, no. So I told them around Ashan, 64, 65 is when we'd know. So this is 64, 65, we should know if we got it or not. If we didn't get it, then by Ashan's 70, we'd know if we got <laughs> it because they'd have to go through the entire process again with a different bank. What's your channel's average like versus dislike percentage? 90 to 95%. Ashan's yeah. has one of the best uh, like to dislikes. So uh, it's around 95%. If you want to improve on it, go ahead, smash that thumbs up button right now. Do it, 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 do it. If you get a chance to spend a day with any YouTuber, who would you choose? My answer is obvious, guys. I, I answer this every week. Linus or John Rettinger. Probably John Rettinger more than Linus. Okay. Who would you pick? Geeky Ranjit. I mean, that's... I think that's the only YouTuber I personally know to some extent. I mean, I'd feel comfortable around him more cool. than any other YouTuber. Cool. So, Ranjit, if you're open to Sundar sending spending a day with you, <laughs> And probably deleting your footages instead of mine. <laughs> I would be glad to loan him out to you. But then again, I am not responsible for anything broken, dude. If you're okay with that, please let me know. I will FedEx him to Hyderabad. Are you eagerly waiting for your geophone? Have you pre-booked it? Okay, this is extraordinarily annoying. 
<laughs> what is? He keeps swiping through the questions. I can't even read the question. It's just swipe, 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 swipe. Why the hell are you swiping so much? I don't know. I mean, once a question somewhere, I'm losing track of something. Of course, guys, okay, this is late. I mean, it's 9.30. It's not too late, but then I had an early start to the day. So I'm a little tired. So I'm suddenly I lose track of what I'm thinking and I'm like, let me see. And I, that's a different question. And then he swipes. That's still not the question we are talking about. Then he swipes, 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 swipes. Are you eagerly waiting for the geophone? Yes, I am. So one person actually was paying attention and placed an order for us. Yeah. So thank you, thank Amartya, you. for it. Uh, so yeah, there's a we've pre-ordered, pre-booked it, and let's we are waiting for it. Hopefully, we get it soon. Why are Sundar and Harris not a part of C4E Tech Tamil? By the way, it's awesome. So the reason why Sundar and Harris are not part of C4E Tech Tamil is because they actually are part of C4E Tech Tamil. They just are not on yeah, screen. On on camera personalities there that's and the reason they aren't is because you just have uh the priority is c4e tech and they still shoot behind the scenes stuff for c4e tech tamil but then again we've got me handling stuff on camera we've got sharuk handling stuff on camera we don't need a third or fourth person yeah. for it uh because the channel is quite small right now and we are just finding our footing so there's no point in spend put, putting more man hours into something uh, it also clears up Harris is a part-timer so he only gets to work a day or two every week and those days he helps out the footage and all that and right now he's working on speed tests on yeah. certain phones so yeah that's what Harris does and Sundar of course is taking care of the English side of things so that is where that's why you're not seeing him on uh, Tamil, Tamil. Tamil but you'd still see his selfies because he loves taking selfies I know he wouldn't let Shara take selfies. Like, no, put uh, myself. Uh, put myself. That's in. never happened. Look at my beard now. I have a beard. I didn't shave. Come on, people like me with a beard. Just look at the kind of comments I got when I shave. People like it. So please put myself. Okay, I might have, I might have boosted it like ten percent, but then hundred <laughs> percent. In every good lie, there is a shred of truth. A shred. Uh, there is some truth in what I said. Lenovo P2 was selling at 10k. They have slashed the price of P2 within three to four months of launch. Why didn't they launch at 12 to 13k? Yeah, sometimes, some days I really can't that help but feel bad, bad for, for Lenovo. Brand. <laughs> exactly. Because the on one hand, Lenovo goes on. See, Lenovo buys Motorola. So Lenovo is supposed to be the bigger brand. They buy Motorola. And on one hand, they try to sell a 625 with an AMOLED display with a 5000 mAh battery and a phone that doesn't feel like a phone with a 5000 mAh battery. Yeah. It feels like a regular phone, okay? Uh, and all that for like 15 grand and it doesn't sell. They had to drop to 13.5 and I guess they've dropped it even more now. Yeah. On the other hand, they put a MediaTek chip, a mediocre MediaTek chip, a mediocre camera and a Moto M. That outsells the P2 like 10 is to 1. You know, so it's like, it's basically the P2 didn't the sell, guys. Value. Exactly. None of the Lenovo phones are selling, basically, uh, at least, you know, like the Z2 Plus or uh, P2, they didn't really do well. So, of course, they are dropping prices, trying to clear off existing stock. And I've also come across a lot of people who like the Moto brand name. Exactly. Yeah, even though it's owned yeah, by come Lenovo. On. Yeah. So, of course, I was about to say a statement, but I'm not saying that statement right now. And I'm saving it for a future question. Okay. Because I don't want to repeat myself again. So once we get there, I'll remind you. How does it feel to have a verified Twitter account? Any major difference in the experience? Not really. See, uh, for me, I'm going to be totally honest over here. The reason why I wanted that ver verified check mark, the, uh, the only reason I wanted it is because I thought maybe if we were verified and we tweet out to a brand asking for review units or something, they'd be more open to replying. Okay. And that worked once I tried it for the LG Q6. I was like, hey guys, could you send us a unit, please? And they did, they did. So, uh, barring that end of the day, I don't believe the entire 99.9% .9 of the Twitter experience doesn't really depend on if you're verified or not. It depends on the followers, you know, you guys and the kind of interaction I have with you people and that doesn't change, right? That is as awesome as ever. And that doesn't change because I get a small little blue tick. So, uh, while it's a little bit more convenient, Maybe, I don't know, it's just once once that I've seen, I've tried it. So maybe it might be a little bit more convenient with regards to reaching out to brands. But barring that, uh, I don't know, if given a choice between 
starting over with a fresh account that's verified or keeping my existing account with all the amazing followers that we have i would choose the existing account without verification every day i mean any day hey sundar how is ash as a boss okay i'm going to walk out <laughs> but that's all right it's going to be on cam anyway i promise to skip this best i don't have anything bad to say anyway Okay, I'm here. So yeah, I'm going to say that Ash is actually quite good as a boss of and course. as a friend of course as a friend as well. He's got to say it this time because I'm going to kill him if he de- doesn't because like, <laughs> he deleted the footage. Yeah, I didn't exactly. say anything. Then I tweet saying we're no, shooting just, Ash answers by 12. No, no, not he should say he replies back. He retweets it saying deleting footage by 3 p.m. He did that today morning. Okay, <laughs> I haven't killed him for both. So and you tweeted out saying that you'd fire me by 30 301 p.m. I think somebody else did. I oh, didn't. That wasn't me. That was you. <laughs> so anyway guys, he is quite good and not just that incident there are like a num- numerous incidents I could actually uh, mention. Of him right breaking now. stuff specifically. <laughs> <laughs> and even more. So yeah. And the thing I like the most about him is that he lets me do he lets me experiment with things on videos you know I, i don't have to think twice about i mean should i do this or should shouldn't i damn at max worms. at max i should <laughs> damn worms so even that i could do without even asking him because he gave me the space to right yeah yeah i would have really regret said but he <laughs> asked me guys i wasn't a fan i wasn't a fan of that word the whatever it is some insects whatever i don't like millipedes creep, millipedes i don't like creepy crawly things i But was a lot of you seem to love it i know and i found it extremely it. creepy okay or rather gross i didn't want to put it in the final video then i was like okay you know what let me ask people on twitter you guys decide you you're the ones who are going to be watching it yeah. so then then it was like a 40 60 thing we are like 30 to 40% of the people agreed with me and 60 to 70% of the people thought it looked nice fell in love with it <laughs> i hate see again this is things. exactly what i like a lot about him he i mean even though he didn't like it personally he did, let you guys decide it yep so yeah so i mean to be frank i mean i love mkbhd's videos but not <laughs> i just can't watch snakes on a video i can't i can't i mean i clicked on the thumbnail because i thought that was a prop or something then i see it it makes me <laughs> i mean i love his video work i've always stated it but no just no i can't i'd love to do it some day will you hell like? no hell no sorry no way i'm going to have to draw a line shoulder, right? we draw a line <laughs> I, i mean millipedes okay but hell no for snakes no okay. never <laughs> When will you do another PC build? <sighs> Goose for a bath. <laughs> Chale. Anyway, uh PC build, PC build, no space, no space, apartment hunt, apartment hunt, loan, loan, waiting, waiting. Once we move, once we move, more builds. I'm Hiring pretty sure guy. most people watching this would know my answer yeah. to this. I'm just thinking why did I pick this question? But then again, just another chance to just say some of you might be new to yep. this so yeah uh, we just don't have the space you guys just saw the kind of space that's the only room we can shoot at so it's very difficult to have a pc as well galaxy grand 2 to note 8 worthy upgrade galaxy grand 2 to any freaking phone launched this year worthy upgrade yep. any phone dude any phone over 5000 bucks be it a redmi for be it a freaking nokia 3 nokia 3 yes it's a worthy upgrade Okay, Nokia 3 is not a good phone, but you can still you still buy a Nokia 3. It's still a worthy upgrade. Hey, what's the meaning of C40 in C40 tech? Sorry, noob here. Remind your noob fan from Philippines. Hey, buddy, here's a link yeah. to my a card to my drama life video. If you've not seen it yet, do check it out, and that will give you the explanation of C40. Note and in. if any of you guys know it already, let me know in the comments and thumbs up. Note 8 India price tipped 75k. So now OnePlus can again save you off flagships like specs at half half. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, yes, we did address the Note 8 price situation already, but then this tweet was like awesome for me to not <laughs> not pick. It was just way too awesome for me to not pick. So yeah, you know, we were all talking about how OnePlus has hiking prices just like a couple of months back or a month back uh, on how OnePlus was hiking prices and they can't 
be termed as half yeah. the uh, price of a flagship. But then here we go. We've got 75k, guys. Oh, it's so less than half. Less than half. The 8128 variant is yeah, half, half the price of the flagship. So yeah, good job OnePlus or Samsung <laughs> just saved your butt. Why don't you attend launch events? Uh, Again, I a question that we've answered previously a yes. number of times, but yeah, there but, you go again. Yeah, so uh, launch events, don't have the time. One, two, it would have, we'd have to put work on, on hold, hold at C4 Tech. Three, and this is probably the most mm, extremely uh, important thing is I'm afraid to leave the office with Sundar and go anywhere. I can't, I really can't, I, I don't know how it would be when I come back. No, not like you can Dude, I go to the, I go to the bathroom and I come out and like, I just dropped it. And that's after I just had like a 35 minute, 45 no, you minute. Sound like, you sound like I, I wouldn't have dropped it if you hadn't gone to the bathroom. That would have happened anyway, right? I mean, accidentally. Not it's a force of, Sundar is a force of nature. <laughs> it happens. It is an eventuality. See, dude, learn to accept it. Okay, so the sooner <laughs> I act, learn to accept it, the better for me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, I don't the have the sooner. the Sundar. So anyways, uh, I, 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 for me, I just when I'm invited to an event, I just look at what's the point in me going to the event. Of course, sometimes I do go. In the past, I've gone to uh, a Gioni event in Goa, and that was like I had the time, and I thought like, okay, it would be good for me to relax for a couple of days, and it was fun. Uh, you know, I hung out with my friend Chaitanya, uh, and it was like. I mean, Chaitanya, if you're watching, hey, buddy, uh, we should talk. It's been a while. Anyway, uh, it was fun. I got to meet a lot of cool people. But then these days I look at it, I'm like, am I going to be covering this phone? Is this something people have been asking me about? Uh, has the last phone from this brand created a lot of hype? If yes, I would contemplate it. But then again, coming back to it, the Indian launch event, say, for example, Samsung now invites me to the Note 8 launch event in India. I probably won't go. Why? Because anybody who's anybody, anybody who's mildly interested in tech has already uh, seen the global launch event. And hell, Samsung Global did, Samsung US rather, did supply units to almost everybody. So most people have come out of videos and everybody's seen that already. And probably it's only the review that's under embargo. Yeah. Everything else is now shared. So what's what can I actually do at a Note 8 event? I could probably meet Ranjit, hang out and do a... I don't know, have fun with Ranjit and Amit. Yeah, and of course, other people uh, that I know, I could meet people, yes. But then again, what do I do for you guys? What do I do for C4E Tech? Not much, right? Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'd import a phone before the Indian launch. So we'd have the phone as well. So uh, the S6 launch, uh, the Note 4 launch, and I think even the Note 5 launch, these are events that I've attended. And every time before I went to the event, my review was live. <laughs> so uh, same with the Mi Five. Same with the Mi Five, but then I again, at least it and he put off. Ha ha ha! So it's like okay, right? I mean, it's like uh, that's the reason why I don't travel to events. If there's something that's launching in India that's like a global first, and I'm invited to the event, I might be tempted. But now it's like uh, I don't know. I've like denied so many brands now that I go to an event, then I'm like every other brand will be like, why not coming to ours? I don't know, guys. I might attend some global events next year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Everyone loved the work and innovation which Infinity brought, but you haven't covered it yet. Are you going still with personal agenda? So here's my answer, Praveen. Okay, let's say I want to cover it right now. How do I get a phone? Buy it. Ask it's still not on it. sale. Ask the brand for it. Uh, the brand hasn't expressed any interest in sending us a phone. Okay. So the brand did contact people and send them a phone. I got an invite to the launch event. I spoke to their PR. I said, can you please send me a unit? I wouldn't be able to make it to the launch, but I'm definitely opening, open to covering your product. After I spoke to you guys last week, uh, last week, that's when I actually told them I'm open to covering your product, uh, but I haven't gotten heard back from them. They haven't sent me a unit. So right now, Yes, a lot of you guys were interested in it, so I really do want to cover it. And I'm not saying I won't just because a brand didn't send me, I would still buy it. But then I can't cover it at the same time everybody else is covering it because they've gotten units from the brand. I'm not complaining that I didn't get a unit. But you can't really blame me for not covering it at the same time because that's beyond my control. What I can do is reach out to the brand and ask, can you give me a unit, which I have, and they've not expressed interest in doing it. Then my alternate option is to buy 
the phone when it's available it's not yet available when it's available most probably i'm gonna buy it because a lot of you guys did in express interest in it so i'll buy it so till then please have patience uh it's not personal agenda or something at least not from my end uh can't speak for the brand so that's that i don't have an option of getting it buddy that's the fact that's it so that's it those are all the questions that i picked for today's episode of ash answers and since sundar didn't cross the line so far here you go that's that, i did that, that one's a bonus yeah since you've not done it so far and people have been waiting for the return of the so reject up in like this one okay uh, and if your question has not been picked let me know if you would like to see me answer your questions live at 8 p.m on wednesday, wednesday. live with ash should there be an episode 2 what do you think let us know your thoughts in the comments below And again if you did hit this video go ahead down. vote it down but if you did like it give a big huge thumbs up go crazy on that uh like and subscribe button also to say go crazy on the subscribe button but then also the like button yeah. don't click it do not click it twice <laughs> click <it> once <laughs> click it once don't go crazy on that yeah click it once and that little bell icon right there right oh, yeah. next to the subscribe so then you get notified each time what happens A video goes live here on the channel. See for retake. See so, yeah. for retake. Enough is my. Thanks a lot for part. watching. This is Sundar and Ash from C4 Retake. Leaving for the moment. Have a it was in in sync. It doesn't have to be in sync. It looks better if it's in sync. Since when it was a uh, required. <laughs> L- go left first. Le- leaving, leaving for the, the moment. moment. Have a nice day. Why are Sundar and Harish not here? <laughs> Why are Sundar and Ash? <laughs> One day on a full charge. I mean, on a one full day on a single charge. Okay, now this with is a tad larger display with a. Can you please check which? Figure out who is sending the messages, and I'm gonna kill somebody. I'll go ahead do it. So again, you get to decide. There's a phone that is still going on. Oh, kill me! Kill me now!